I'm gonna teach you, yes, you, how to install Hammer as fast as possible. Starting with downloading Source SDK 2013 Multiplayer. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna see this on your Steam list again, but you still gotta download it, so get on that. After you're done downloading that with your dial-up internet, you're gonna right-click the program, manage, and browse local files. Okay, it's right there. Right there. Go to the bin folder right there and open up the... Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> open up the poopy hammer. Wait for the splash screen to go away and then just close out the program. You, 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 don't, you don't need it anymore. And with that, we're never gonna use this old hammer again. Thank God. You know it's illegal, download copyrighted music. I'm taking you in. Go to the link down below and download the Source SDK 2013 Multiplayer Hammer Plus Plus. Right, right there. You can't miss it. It's, it's a hammer tutorial. You have to download the new, like, duh. <laughs> While we're downloading this, because you're dial up internet, go to the and Tools down below and download that as well. This gives a ton of quality life improvements and will make your map look way better once it's compiled. The site says optional, but that's like being willing to chop up one of your nuts. Or if you're unfortunate, Here's my nuts. your last nut. <laughs> open the zip for Hammer++ Plus Plus, and then navigate to the bin folder where we open up the old shitty hammer. Drag the new shiny hammer folder and the exe into that bin folder. Open the zip for slamming and move those files there as well. Make sure you replace when asked. Now make a shortcut and pin to the taskbar for Hammer++ Plus Plus and open it up. Select Half-Life 2 for right now. Go into Tools, Options, click Edit Near Configuration, and add Gary's Mod as the name. Add all the FGD files that you have from your Gary's Mod bin folder. Set the Point Entity class to Info Player Start. Trust me on this. Set the Solid Entity class to Funk Detail and set the cordon texture to tool skybox. This makes the cordons that you create the actual skybox instead of just some solid color. Set the game executable from your root Gary's mod folder. Set the game directory to the source SDK base 2013 Half-Life 2 directory. Set the hammer VMF directory to where you want to store your map files. I would heavily recommend making a separate folder for these files in the off chance that you install these games and or Steam. Set the prefabs to the maps folder you created or to the Gary's Mod bin folder. Now move the build program category and set the executable to Gary's Mod Half-Life2.exe. Set the BSP, Viz, and RAD to the following in your source SDK 2013 bin folder. These are the same files from the Slamin tools we downloaded earlier. Finally, for place compile maps, it would be Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod Maps. Make sure you push OK on the configure menu and any preceding pop-ups after. Do not close out of that window. Great, we got Hammer up and running. We now just need to cover on how to get custom content into the level editor. This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. Open the Source SDK base 2013 folder again and navigate to the Half-Life 2 folder. There you will find gameinfo.txt file. Open that up, preferably with Notepad or Visual Studio Code, but regular Notepad will suffice. Scroll all the way down and add the following text before the brackets end. Under Source Game Contents, add the following. Here's my example. If you're having trouble mounting Counter-Strike Source, go to Steam. Find Counter-Strike Source, Manage, Browse Local Files, C-Strike, click on the top folder path and copy and paste the selection right there. Copy and paste what I have here in the description, we need this for our custom content. For custom content that isn't Counter-Strike, make a custom config folder in the root directory of Source SDK Base 2013. And in that folder, make a custom folder, literally called custom. Here, you can place folders that have preceding structures such as materials, models, and sounds. For this example, I will move this Casino folder into my Customs folder. If you're looking at a game file like Left 4 Dead or CSGO, download GCFscape from the link in the description. Navigate to the game folder, in this instance, Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 2, and open up pack01-dir with GCFscape. 
Select materials, models, particles, and drag and drop that into a new folder inside of the customs folder. Also, don't forget to move the sounds folder as well. It's in the same folder that you're currently in. Go to your Gary's Mod root folder, then Gary's Mod CFG mount.cfg and add the line in the description. Replace the name with whatever it is. In the case of Left 4 Dead 2, it would be the following L42 in the quotations and L42 at the end. You can check out what Hammer Plus Plus has to offer right here. Well, once the video comes out, that is. Now get out of here! Make some levels! Get!